Okay, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and uh, welcome to the, this uh, video. Uh, first of all, I would want to um, say thank you for everyone who is uh, watching this video. And um, probably most of you, you know, um, who am I? So uh, I'm a fish uh, scientist, and uh, I've done aquaculture and uh, fishery. So. I want to just make it so quick that uh, this video is not about, you know, anything other than um, aquaculture. Okay, so, um, you know, as a, a concerned, uh, you know, fish uh, scientist, okay, I've come to realize that uh, there is so much uh, of uh, poverty in our country, not because that is what it meant to be. Or what it has meant to be okay now um the thing about um us zambia uh, being known for poverty or most of the countries in africa that we are known for poverty it's not the the reality that that happens uh even the white people know that okay this is just the bad reputation that they have been putting on us it's because the fact is that uh, we are much more interested in money then we can be much more interested in our natural resources that we do have. So, as a fellow Zambian, a consent citizen, I just want to encourage each one of us, okay, including myself, okay, um, I would love to see uh, the majority of Zambian people, more especially the youths, the young people, you know, to come together and really understand that indeed this is the time for us to wake up, okay? Why am I saying this, okay? Um, we might not be blessed with, you know, having all these technologies that uh, the Russians, the Americans, the Chinese do have, but we are blessed naturally, okay? So we are simply, uh, we can create all these things that we see in the movies, all these things that we have heard about uh, that the Americans do have, you know, the Chinese and everyone else, uh, these are developed countries, okay? or rather the Western world, kind of, okay? So, my call uh, to each one of you who is watching this video is to ensure that through your expertise, okay, let's try to invest in, in um, you know, in agriculture, okay? Uh, as for me, let us try to invest into aquaculture, okay? So that we can, we can start now growing more fish. And once we grow more fish, will be able to actually, you know, reduce the poverty, okay? That has been, you know, uh, almost uh, even before and after the post-colonial rule is that um, we, have been, um, we have been given us, uh, the white people, or rather our former colonies, okay? They have, you know, they have given us names, okay? Uh, that we might not even, uh, that we, we just don't want, okay? So, I'm here to challenge you is that, um, the challenge that I'm putting on each one of us, as long as we're Zambian, okay? If we want to create um, employment, okay? If you want to have wealth, become rich, okay? Let us uh, sacrifice, okay? Everything requires sacrifice. And now, how are we going to do this, okay? So the government of Zambia has, you know, allocated more money to people that would rather form, you know, kind of a cooperatives or anything that might be, you know, a grouping that is also a business, uh, you know, uh, backbone or some driven forces uh, business uh, behind that, okay? So what I'm talking about is the cooperative, okay? Once we form cooperatives, uh, which I believe most of the people across uh, this country, Zambia, they have done that, okay? So when we have access to that man, okay? Because the challenge that we, are, we have normally is uh, the funding, that we want to use, uh, you know, the uh, startup capital, wants to use in businesses and everything else. But um, that has been a challenge to access the money. But I think this government is looking at, uh, you know, investing in the young people, okay? Uh, once they invest in us, the young people, this thing is going to grow and grow and grow. Even, you know, we never know who is going to even benefit, okay? So generation of generation will come, you know, multiple generation will come, okay? So... Um, I'm also calling upon uh, people like uh, innovators, uh, people who have done computer engineering, computer science, you know, just in fact calling upon 
every uh, you know field okay like uh, the agriculture education sector the health sector uh, engineering sector and the other sectors economics uh, you know commerce and everything else uh, that you might think of okay so if we sit down in various uh, you know our communities uh, that makes up our country Zambia then let us try to prioritize uh, the thing that we can put in okay but of course an objective is that um, if we can prioritize for instance uh, you know engage ourselves into fish farming into agricultural you know a kind of project okay um, which can help us uh, you know reduce on the importation of this uh, modified food that we normally import from other countries okay instead uh, let us become a country uh, you know having access 100 percent plus you know to these are uh, god-given uh, things like the natural resources then we we are more than able okay to even supply across europe across america even across china okay so i'm calling upon each one of you ladies and gentlemen okay so let us get on our feet okay let us take action okay we might complain about the money but if the idea is attainable you know viable and uh, it's able to contribute to the community by bringing more employment by also you know just uh, engaging uh, people that are not doing anything more especially the people that are smoking the people that are drinking just maybe the whole day they are just drinking and you know involves themselves in such vices okay so i'm calling upon each one of us okay to realize that uh, we still have the potential okay more than what we can call we still have the dynamics to do almost everything improve our search you know uh, we can learn a lot once we take action okay so um that's a message that i i did have for you ladies and gentlemen so i would love just within your own community people that have done agriculture uh fisheries aquaculture you know uh forestry agroforestry uh you know uh, uh biochemistry you know uh uh biotechnology all these kind of uh, powerful tools uh knowledge that we can use in order to improve our livelihood okay so that's the way we are supposed to do it okay so we have gone to school of course we are looking for employment of course but uh, in an environment where everyone is looking for employment okay the country's poverty continues to rise okay because the government keeps on borrowing money in order to pay those people uh it's a uh, citizen so that they can continue working for the government but uh where we have the tools which is the knowledge to create the thing that we are looking for okay for those that are you know ambitious those uh, people who really want to change the country okay so you and me we are the people who can change this country so i give you a challenge ladies and gentlemen let us form uh, we have formed cooperatives, okay? So let us not form cooperatives that are just there, you know, to create kind of a pathway in order to access the money and just, you know, waste all that money in vain, okay? So let us use this money accordingly, okay? So if uh, we, you have created a business plan, okay? You know everything, how everything is going to work. And uh, yeah, so we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. We can do it okay so if our colleagues are doing it in china if our colleagues are doing it uh, you know in america europe and other parts of the world which are, are seeming to be doing well fine than these are uh, as african countries so i challenge each one of us including myself that uh, let us venture into agricultural based you know kind of ideas or business ideas that can uh, that that's gonna create you know multiple and uh, you know thousands of employment okay and therefore maintaining uh money within our country okay so therefore everyone is going to be stabilized in terms of uh, how business is done okay so that's the thing that i had for you ladies and gentlemen so this is a challenge and um it's begin now um you know I'll, i will not talk so much so um most of us uh, most of you have gotten the message okay so let us engage ourselves into such uh, business ideas okay business ideas that are generational business ideas that's gonna put our country on the map okay not just the you know locally you know but in uh, country level continental level and just the across uh, outside the continent okay so that was um, 
the message for me and it's bye bye my name is mike uh as an aquaculture expert fisheries expert so let us uh wait on that challenge okay so it's bye bye and i'll see you in the next year uh, of course we can form up even a zoom meeting and just to be checking on ourselves on um how we are doing in terms of uh, the thing that we are talking about okay so let us just you know uh put ourselves in those things okay otherwise uh, you know we have been known much more for talking other than you know uh action we are not action takers okay we are just talkers you know we are just uh, spectators are uh, people that only we talk 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 with brilliant ideas uh genius people you know intelligent people but there isn't nothing that is going on of uh, the thing that we normally discuss or talk about okay so it's bye bye and have a lovely weekend and i'll see you i don't know